What's up, DMS? It's Hannah. And Ellie. Back at it with another broadcast. Hey, what did you do over winter break? I just hung out with my family. Cool, let's head over to Carly and Claire to see what everyone else did over break. Hey, DMS, it's Carly. And Claire. And today, let's jump back to Christmas break and see what exotic places your DMS students travel to. Let's fly right in. I'm here with Allie. And where did you go over break? Maui, Hawaii. How long were you there for? Nine days. Is this your first time going to Hawaii? Yes. Were you there over Christmas or New Year's? New Year's. What did you do to celebrate? We went to a luau. And what is one other activity you did there? We went on a helicopter ride to a different island. Fun. Thank you. Today I'm here with? Frankie. Where'd you go over break? I went to Colorado. How long were you there? I was there for a week. Have you been there before? I have. I've been there every year. Were you there over Christmas or New Year's? I was there over Christmas. What did you do to celebrate? I went snowboarding. I saw my whole family and I played top golf. And those were basically the main fun parts of my Christmas vacation. Any other activities you want to mention? Um, driving was one that took up most of our time. We went sledding off of a mountain, so that was really cool too. My brother and Zadie, that's really cool. Alright, thank you. I'm here with Carly. Where'd you go over break? Um, I went on a cruise to Cosmo, Belize City, Costa Maya, and their private island, Harvest Cay. How long were you there? I was there for a week. Have you been there before? Uh, no I have not. Were you there over Christmas or New Year's? Uh, yes, I was. So, how did you celebrate? Um, we went to like a party. Uh, like there was a party. There was like they held like a big party, and there was like dancing and singing and like confetti and stuff. What is one other activity you did? Um, in Belize City, we went cave tubing, and it was like, cool because it's pretty views, and we got a hike. So. Thank you. Thanks for watching DMS. We hope you learned more about where students went over break. Happy New Year, and, and have, have a good, good weekend, ZMS. Hey, are you doing any sports for the school? Yeah, I'm going to do track. I heard that Coach Willis gives out Athlete of the Week awards. Let's hand it over to Cooper and Tatum to learn more about it. Sup, I'm Cooper. I'm Tatum. And we're going to be talking to you about the Athletes of the Week. So, Mr. Willis, what is Athlete of the Week? Athlete of the Week is an award we give out in uh, fall, winter, and spring to a member of one of our sports teams uh, for a good performance, usually in a game, but sometimes in practice, that a coach decides to give to an athlete. Now let's go interview some Athletes of the Week. Who is that? Okay, Logan, uh, did you, I understand you won Athlete of the Week one week? Yes. Uh, so... What sport did you get Athlete of the Week in? Uh, wrestling. Why did you get it in wrestling? Uh, probably because I won a lot of matches. So did you get like a certificate for winning Athlete of the Week? Yes. So do you play any other sports? Yes, I do. I play baseball. So Chase, what sport did you get Athlete of the Week in? Basketball. So, why did you get it in basketball? Uh, I had a good game and I was a good sport. Good. So, uh, what other sports do you play? Uh, well, in my school sports I play is cross country and basketball. Then, uh, out of school I play baseball. I understand you all. Uh, so, did you also get in cross country? Yeah. Swish, baby. I hope you learn more about Athlete of the Week. Thanks for watching and have a good weekend, DMS. Now I know how to get Athlete of the Week. Speaking of sports, hey Hannah, do you play basketball? <laughs> no, I'm like 3'8". But let's pass it over to Lydia and Kaden to learn more. Hey DMS, it's Lydia. And Kaden. Here to tell you more about the basketball team. And their goals and accomplishments this season. Let's pass it on over to the I am here with... Cooper. And uh, what team do you play for? I play for boys A. I'm here with... It's Chang. What team do you play for? Boys B. I am here with... Ayan. What team do you play for? Girls B. Hi, I'm here with Morgan Cannon. What team do you play for? A team girls. What goals did you set at the beginning of season? Uh, I've been trying to play good defense, and that's my goal for the whole time. To become a better offensive player in the team. Making the basketball team because I've never played a sport before. 
Um, one of my main goals was to better my ball handling and to be a better teammate. Um, how have you worked to accomplish this goal? Uh, I've been doing lane lines, like it's like where you go from one side of the lane to the other. This goal. Pay attention to the set plays that coach is teaching us during practice. I joined the team. Um, when I was working on ball handling, I like to keep my head up and look for passes and to be a better teammate to get other people's score points. What were some of the highlights of your season? Uh, well, I scored 100% of the shots that I took in the paint against Newmark. I got six points at the last couple minutes of a game when we ended up winning against Mullen Ridge. Then airballing my free throws. Uh, I love all my teammates and I just love playing with the team and laughing and there's never a dull moment. That's it for this segment, DMS. Hope you have a great weekend. Wow, those basketball players accomplished quite a lot. Hey, Ellie, I heard something's being made in the kitchen. Let's go right over to Kayla below and Logan to see what's being made. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Chef Logan, and my sous chef here, Caleb Turner. We both have been on Iron Chef. You know, we're great cookers, and today we're going to be making you some nice salsa. First thing you're going to want to start out with is um, one can of tomatoes, and you want the uh, some of the juice to be poured out. The next thing you're gonna need is one cut up tomato. Next thing you're gonna need is rotel. Some people know it, it is uh, green chili and chopped up tomatoes. After the rotel, you're gonna need half of an onion cut up. Then you're gonna need some poblano. Uh, it is green and it's spicier, kind of spicier than a uh, bubble. After the poblano, you're gonna need to have a whole jalapeno. After that, you're gonna need some green stuff. I kind of forgot the name. Cilantro. Uh, you need to break down the roots. Make sure you break it down real good. After the cilantro, you're gonna need some minced garlic. Kind of difficult to get out. You got it. After that, you're gonna need one lemon and cut them in half and lime. Yeah, not lemon, lime. You're gonna need to put that in there and squeeze it. Okay, after that, you're gonna want some secret seasoning, homemade. Yeah, secret seasoning. Okay, after that, you're gonna wanna take your uh, blender and you're gonna wanna push that some of that stuff down. After you do that, you're gonna put this on the blender. Then you're gonna put your cap on. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna have some of, some of your stuff may not have this on your machines, blenders. Uh, you're, it has a pulse on it. You wanna do between 10 or 15 pulses. Oh, probably should plug it in first. After you have made the salsa and blended it all together, you're going to want to put it in the refrigerator for one hour. And that will wrap up the video. Thank you for coming along to the show. And what is up, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Chef Logan. And back with another video, we have our uh, amazing uh, test chip eater, uh, <laughs> salsa eater. Yeah, same guy. Uh, and our uh, sous chef. Great uh, sous chef, Caleb. Great sous chef, yeah. He makes a lot of sushi. Uh, let's go. So, he, you gonna try it? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Boy bueno! Good, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you learned how to make salsa. Have a good weekend, DMS. Wow, I wish I could have some of that salsa. Same though, but I could just go to Target and buy some. Yeah, it'd be so much easier just to do that. Hey, hey do you like dodgeball? Yeah, I love dodgeball. Well, I heard that Carolina knows some more about dodgeball and the murals. Let's go hand it to her. Good. Hey, DMS, it's Michaela. It's Carolina. And we're here to talk about dodgeball and murals. 
Uh, dodgeball uh, starts on Monday, February 4th from 2.30 to 3.30 p.m. and it goes till February 7th. So let's go interview some students about it. Hey guys, I'm Michaela and I'm here with Carly and here I'm going to ask you some questions. Have you ever done dodgeball in reals? Uh, yes, I have. With you could recommend it on a scale of 1 to 10, what would you recommend? 10, it's really fun. Um, would you ever, are you going to sign up this year? Probably so. Well, that's all the questions we have today. Thanks, Carly. Hi, I'm Caroline, and I'm here with Cooper. Okay, so have you ever done dodgeball intramurals? Yes, I have. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did. Would you do it again? Uh, probably. Are you going to sign up? If I can find a team, yeah. Thank you. Well, DMS, that's all the time we have today. We have to send it back to the anchors, but I hope you guys sign up on the DMS website. doing anything this weekend? I don't know, but do you know what the weather's going to be like? I heard Addison Chang know what the weather's going to be like. Hi DMS, I'm Addison. I'm Jamie. I'm Chang. And we're here for your weekend forecast. Today's forecast for Friday the 25th will be mostly sunny with a high of 36 and low of 17. Saturday, January 26th, there's a high of 33 and a low of 19 with a bit of afternoon snow. So for Sunday, January 27th, there's going to be clouds and sun with a high of 34 and a low of 18. Learned a little bit more about the weather for this weekend. And remember to stay hot, DMS. Bye, DMS. Thanks for the heads up on the weather. Well, that's all the time we have for the broadcast. Bye, Bye DMS. DMS. Hey, DMS, we need about 20 more bags of 25 pairs of shoes to reach our goal. We want to see Dr. Meese and Mr. Cliff sumo wrestle, and that will only happen if we reach our goal. So please, bring in shoes. Let's show just how much DMS cares. Have a good weekend, DMS. <laughs> Have, a Have, a good good Have a good weekend, DMS. Have a good weekend, DMS. Bye, DMS. Bye, DMS.